this has caused snowplow drivers to be busy too. And a lot of drivers, they still hit the roads despite those dangerous conditions. News 8's Noel Gar Gardner spoke with them last night. This one's not letting up. Snowplow crews haven't stopped since the snow started falling. It's been a busy snow day. You plow and two minutes later it's covered again. Those shoveling the snow taking short breaks, but when the snow falls... We try and just keep it clean, and then we, at the, when the snow stops, we're here, and then we clean it all. Between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., state police reported 115 crashes on state highways, multiple crashes on interstates 91 and 95, also on the Merritt Parkway. I see like three or four accidents on uh, 90 with six or seven cars, twice or three times. People out of the road jumping out to the roads with the cars, really bad. I've noticed a few cars that got, uh, you know, slid off the road a little bit. Uh, doesn't look like they were wrecked, but they were slid off the road and couldn't get out of it because they don't have four-wheel drive. Drivers say they're taking it slow and using caution. Just, just stop, you know, being smart about it, stopping every once in a while. Um, I have some uh, family in Fairfield, and so I'm going to stop there for a little bit. I didn't slide any, but I have four-wheel drive, so uh, I took it slow. You can use the brakes. You got to have a distance of 50 feet to 100 feet between the other cars, otherwise you out. Those traveling to other states say they've got to keep going. I still have another three hours to go pro if he's not an accident. And for snowplow workers picking up extra hours. It'll be a long night, tired night. Keep going. It's New England. Noel Gardner, News 8.